Welcome to Something Came From Baltimore. I'm your host, Tom Galker, and we are up to episode 10 of the Hey Baltimore series. We got talent all over the place, like the world-revered blues band called the Kelly Bell Band. And you thought b was just about jazz. We got the blues and we got the Kelly Bell Band or KBB. The KBB is one of the best blues bands in the world. The KBB was originally formed as a backup band for the rock and roll pioneer Bo Diddley. I call them the Red Hot Chili Peppers of blues, but they call themselves Fat Blues Music. And Fat Blues Music means... Find as if you could imagine Muddy Waters wearing a Bob Marley t-shirt, riding on Black Sabbath to a bus on the way to a Paul and Funkadelic concert, listening to a James Brown 8-track tape, humming a run DMC song with a Nighthawks ball cap on, all in the glory of Bo Diddley, with just a hint of B.B. King and a smidge of Aretha Franklin, that would be merely close to what we do. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>
news man coming. His cup over it runneth with the liquid of life. Bass man to his left, electric guitar to his right. Seven WTMD, and you are in the evening here with Kelly Bell. How you doing, WTMD family? We are happy that you joined us on a Monday, and hope we are helping you resolve your workday or push through that shift wherever you may be in your day. During the COVID time period, Kelly Bell joined Towson University Radio WTMD eighty nine point seven FM and is currently working the 7 to 10 p.m. shift Eastern Standard Time. WTMD is a triple A format station and it's one of the best of its kind in the world. I totally recommend that you live stream the channel WTMD FM and it's great to have on your phone. So let's get to it. It's the Kelly Bell Band Live. Dear Maggie, can you tell me please?
Welcome to Something Came From Baltimore, and thank you for joining the Hey Baltimore series. The I, I put the elephant in the room. You're like a, a regional artist, but say 20 years ago, you would be signed on a major label, and you would be a household name, just like, like say, Dave, Dave Matthews or something. So it, that's a rough question because, all right, so I've opened for Dave Matthews, got to hang out with Dave. He's a really nice guy, and everybody can't say that. And... I guess moments like that, I don't take for granted to the extent of, I, I guess I just don't sit around and think about, oh man, what it would be like to be him. Like, like when I met Dave, I mean, he, you know, he walked up and he had on this hemp, you know, hemp pants and shirt matching thing, you know, I'm like, this dude is like as laid back as it gets, you know, I mean, I, I'm got to chill with, like I said, chill with B.B. King and, and Bobby. And, I mean, these are two guys in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And they treated me like a colleague. And so as, and, and Mark Renner from the Nighthawks, who's a blues legend himself, you know, and, and he didn't just be my friend. We shared the stage yesterday, literally yesterday. And that's part of the reason why my voice is burned out, because I was pouring out so much more and screaming and just having such a fantastic time. And, of course, the after party, we stayed up way too late, well into today. <laughs> so I'm I'm doing this interview with, like, two hours of sleep because I partied all night with the Nighthawks. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing to do. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, so you, you think of that, and you're like, that's what I get to do. So it, I, I think the only thing that disappoints me about, you know, and I think what we're talking about here is commercial success because I think we're very, very successful. But in regard to commercial success, the only thing I think that would probably bring me more joy about that. And it's not a fancy car. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to have a fat ride, um, uh, a night, a bigger house. I uh, would love to have a bigger house and not have to clean it myself. And all that would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. But and and I'll and I'll be honest with you. Um, me and my bass player Frankie Hernandez were talking about this, and Eric Robinson, one of my guitar players. We were talking about this just this weekend. Um, we were watching before we were getting ready to leave for the gig, and we we're sitting there watching TV, and then there was this thing called insane pools or something like that. And this guy that just creates these crazy, crazy pools for these people with more money than they know what to do with. And, um, you know, Frankie's like, man, would you ever want that? You know, and Eric was like, you know, yeah, man. Like, it would be great to have something like that. And I'm like, yeah, man. And I'm thinking it would be wonderful to have a house that had a cool, crazy, ridiculous, over-the-top pool like that. But I'm, I don't know if I can stomach having it built. And Frankie looked at me and I said, I said, do you remember that? I said, the last couple of years, we've been able to help this program called the YES program here in Baltimore. And um, we're, we're, we actually do a lot of charity work, you know. And um, the YES program is a program for runaway teens. And, um, you know, a lot of these kids are, that, are, that are contemplating to be or not to be and end up homeless and, and on the street and sometimes strung out, a lot of times selling themselves or you know, thrown out of their house because they were either um, questioning their sexuality or they weren't, you know, and knew who they were and just weren't accepted um, or because of their political views or, you know, just whatever it was. Sometimes it's just, it's just craziness. Um, and this program 
you know, work so hard to keep the doors open. Every year they work hard to keep the doors open. And what they do for these kids is just amazing. And I can't have a pool like that built knowing that a program like that is struggling to stay open. So, again, when you come back to Know My Name and you talk about legacy, man, that, that stuff just, it's just too important to me for, for it to be any other way. I mean, I think the best example I can think of is, um, and I mean, that, not the best example because I, I, that, it just, that might cheapen on so many examples that I have. Like, I mean, last 4th of July, we were, you know, 4th of July before, I'm sorry, we were in uh, Japan, uh, literally in front of the, Frit, the, uh, the Fitzgerald right after the tragedy and we lost those sailors, one of them including being from this area, uh, and we were singing to their families and doing a tribute in Japan with the Fitzgerald being repaired right behind the stage. Like, you could see it. It's on YouTube right now. And and then and having one of the sailors take the footage of that and do his own video and intersperse the pictures of the sailors that were lost. And he used it for the Navy as a tribute to his fallen sailors and to his fallen brothers. And and asked our permission. I was like, are you crazy? I'm like, we <laughs> Like, I'm blown away you did this. Living in my place saying he just paints All the while with lines of my face Girl, you done me wrong, wrong Say so. Whole time you've been living on the down low. Tell Blake your fool, fool, fool. Can't you see what I do? Another woman hurt me, so I'm on the So I got to move on. 
I actually think like I'm thinking living like you're you're almost like a living color like Corey Glove is actually a very good friend of mine and, and I'm a huge fan of his on top of that mm -hmm. uh, we just played we just played together that long ago uh, we probably played together three or four times in the last two years yeah Corey and I even dated the same woman uh, <laughs> Un unbeknownst to us we kind of found that out after we became friends she, <laughs> she must have a thing for deep baritone you know guy do we have Take that back. No, baby, baby, baby. Take 
crazy, you can't take that back. Why you wants to change me, can't take that back. You can't take that back. Take that back, y'all. You just can't take it back. October last year, the next day, we were on stage, and then I called this song, and then it all came out. Let us honor our fathers one more time. This song is called Down in the Bottom. Catch them out on the road. It's the Kelly Bell Band. And you can catch Kelly Bell 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Thursday on WTMD. It's 89.7 FM. That's Towson Radio. Kelly Bell also has a full-time job, so he's officially one of the hardest working men in show business. Don't forget to support local, support live, and support something came from Baltimore. We need the support by subscriptions and we need you to flip it to five people who care about music as much as you do. We want you to be a part of that Be More Music scene. 